What's up guys? This is a twin flame reading for November 14th. It's 12.09 a.m. I'm recording for today. Hope your day is going well. This reading was brought to you by, or is brought to you by, my website, ashesgiller.com. Today I released, well yesterday I released the War on Your Money ebook, How to Position Yourself, How to Win the War on Your Money and Position Yourself for an Increase. It's about financial literacy and enacting more other people's money by starting businesses, becoming a winner in the war of your own money. Um, and it also gives key indicators that you're losing. Sometimes we have to realize that we're losing in order for us to win. So I highly encourage you to cop that. It's 11.11 for the ebook. And the website is in my description. Okay, so some cards flipped over. So lately when I've been doing these monology cards, Lots of them have been flipping over, so I'll just take them. Void, of course, moon. Nothing will come of this situation. So I did a reading already today, but I'm doing another one because the other one got interrupted by negative energy. Time for healing. Balsamic moon. Balance spirituality and practicality as a way to heal. I'm honestly over this. Honestly, truly. The answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. I'm going to put this together. Gemini energy and um, I can get more of this. So. But Gemini energy and twin flame go together. Sorry, guys. Um, gotta balance myself. Take time to breathe out. Put that with a time to heal. This is like the same energy you and your loved ones are safe. A win win outcome is forecast. Full moon and Libra. Confidence is your key to success. New moon and Leo. Luck is on your side. Okay, so if I was to analyze this, This is, this is giving you confidence to leave the situation. So for the course, of course, moon is like nothing will come up in the situation. Or it's just time for you to move on for something. It's time for you to avoid the course. It's time for it to be over and for you to move on to something new. And I can read some of it just to make sure. But it's basically saying, and not to make sure, but sometimes I like to read it in addition. To what I've already gotten but basically it's saying listen whatever you're trying or wherever you are right now is not where you're supposed to be yeah it says this situation will bear no fruit so trust in the highest good I, I, I dropped it Anyway, so it's time to avoid, of course. Go somewhere else, do something else, try something new. Uh, then we have to take the time to breathe out and the time to heal. Sometimes when we've been overwhelmed on a journey or if we're overwhelmed at life or if we have tried something for so long and it's time to try something else, it could be heartbreaking. That's how I feel right now, heartbroken. So when you're in a situation where it's heartbreaking, it could be time to heal. So take some time to breathe out and focus on healing. And these two, I feel like, are saying the way to heal is by balancing your spirit, balancing your mind, body, and spirit, the physical part of yourself and the spiritual part of yourself. Finding a medium between the two. 
I feel like that's this isn't the answer. The twin flame journey or becoming one with yourself is the answer. The, I guess I'm gonna keep my negative comments to myself. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't feel like the answer. Sometimes it feels more like to torture. But balance spirituality and practicality is the way to heal. Take some time out to yourself and focus on your healing. But whatever situation, move on from it. Then we have confidence in, is your key to success. Sorry that you guys, I don't know what's up with my, there we go. We have confidence is your key to success. Luck is on your side. A win-win outcome is forecast. And you and your loved ones are safe. So if you're worried about if things are going to work out when you leave, or if you're worried about how things will turn out for you, spirit is saying luck, luck is on your side. You know, new beginnings, because there's three new moons here. So it's like this new beginning will bring good things to you. Like you're taken care of. There's nothing to worry about. You and your loved ones are safe. The things that you need will be provided for. Spirit is encouraging this change. So whatever this change is, Spirit is encouraging it. Luck is on your side. The divine is on your side. Remain confident that everything is going to be okay because it is. If it's not okay, something's off because it is. It's a dissolution. It's illusion. So know that you're taken care of and that everything is okay. But it's time for you to take this leap. It's time for you to start this new beginning in your life. Wasn't terrible. Just tried to flip out. Yep. Ten of Swords. It's like painful endings. Like sometimes things just doesn't seem. Um, sometimes it hurts. Sometimes endings hurt. We don't fully see the big picture on the other side. I'm going to turn my heater back on. It got cold real quick. But sometimes we don't see the other side. Sometimes it's hard to see the good news because, you know, you're surrounded by what appears to be bad news. But, again, with this ending, there's a new beginning. And it's better than what is ending. Yeah, the moon. Interesting. Um, the six of cups was on the bottom of the deck when I pulled the moon. I'm getting like everything is happening for a reason vibes. It's like it may hurt or you may not see the big picture or Whatever this void, of course, is, it's like an ending that is hurting you because you don't see the full picture. But the moon is like, remain faithful. Have faith or you know that it's, oh, child. I just dropped the whole deck. Almost. Maybe something is going to just drop out of thin air like that. A whole bunch of stuff. But it's like, you may not see what's to come. There may be a lot of things that's manifesting right now that you just don't see. But it's going to take that faith, that leap of faith. It's going to take that ending in order for it to manifest. Didn't I just say that? And the world failed. And another 10 on the world. Things are coming full circle. New phase of life beginning. Um, what the world is like. I, oh, I like this card because it's like the last card. You know, it's like finally the fruits from your labor. From all you've been through from A to Z. Finally it manifesting. Finally things working out in your favor. And then the fact that all those cards just fell in my hand. It's like. All these things just come out or good things manifest for you, bringing to you abundance and happiness and new beginnings that look so much better than anything you've ever had. Well, on the bottom of the deck, we have another 10, which is 
Ten of Wands is like responsibility and burden. But when I get 1010, it usually indicates more life. It indicates more abundant times, um, dualities, and more life, you know, fulfillment, self-actualization, freedom. Then we have the Hermit. So it's like the lights manifesting. But it's the number 39. Because you have the Empress on the bottom of the deck as well. The number 39 is like the process. Going through the process. Let me look up the Gematria for 39. I got me some sleep today. I was up all night trying to get, last night I was up all night trying to get my book, the ebook launched. I was two days late, but you know. So, yes, number 39 is the Lord is one. It's love, it's will. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God, and the word is God. So, it's like going through the process of becoming one. For some of you, that could be becoming one in a partnership with someone else. But for others, it could be becoming one with the dualities of yourself. Finally, being one with who you are, with your spirit self and your physical being, becoming one. Yep, so I'll put that together. Justice will prevail. You have the justice card. We'll get justice. You'll get justice. Something trying to fall out. Shall I let it fall? Nope. I will. I could have, but there's a lot of cars trying to fall. Let's go a little bit more. I already did. Um, I just talked about becoming one. Yep. Four wands. Guess what's on the bottom? The emperor. Bottom of the deck. The star, true self. When you get the star, it's like it could be recognition and the following and fame, but it's also it's just becoming one with your true self. You know, she's naked. She's herself or he's himself. It's like becoming true to who you are, being true to who you are and who you are created to be, being in alignment with that. Again, self-actualization. Freeing yourself from the devil. Liberation from freedom. Liberation. Yep. This is liberation. Or this is union. Becoming one with masculine and feminine energies. For some people, again, this could be becoming one with your masculine. But for others, it could be your spiritual self and your physical self, your physical and spiritual being being one. Once that happens, it supposedly brings new beginnings. It brings fulfillment. Confirmation will be when it actually happens um, in your life. You know, until it actually happens, this is theoretical for me. You know, I believe in a journey. I've been on a journey. But when it manifests, that will be confirmation for me. You believe it, yes. I believe it, yes. But I'm not going to sit here and promise anything that hasn't manifested for me. As, you know, and I've been on a journey, so. But anyway. You're safe. The overall message of this reading, things is coming. Yeah, things are ending. But... Other things are beginning. A win-win situation, a win-win outcome is forecast. You and your loved ones are safe. And um, it's all bringing you to alignment with your true self. Maybe I'll pull one before I end this. Don't forget to go to AshleyGiller.com and get the War on Your Money ebook. Thank you for following, viewing, watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. Then I say I needed one 
He gave me all those. What is this? Broken heart. Ooh, anxiety. We got anxiety. We got Archangel Ariel. You know, she just looks like the happy answers in her hands. The gold is in her hands. Ooh, my chest hurts. My chest pains. Hmm. This wow, what is up with all these negative cards that just came out? We got hostilities, we got anxiety, and we got deceit. So and we got journey. Goodness. I was trying to end this reading, but it looks like a lot going on right here. Yeah. It's almost like demonic influence impeding upon your journey or, you know, negativity impeding upon your journey. It could possibly be some type of, some sort of hostility, which is relating to this nothing is coming of the situation card. Hostility, which is causing some sort of anxiety and deceit or Things aren't what they seem. It's 25. 25 is 7, which is about spiritual journey. Yeah, hidden tactics and manipulation. So we have hidden tactics, manipula manipulation, and hostilities going on causing anxiety. Causing discomfort, causing anxiety. But it's just simply time to move forward on your journey. Whatever this is, leave it behind and move forward on your journey. We have intimacy and creativity for Archangel Ariel. Hmm. Doesn't relate to this at all. I'm not feeling this card, but it's about creativity. So it could be whatever this energy is, is impeding upon your creativity. <clears throat> Which is why spirit is like, listen, it's time to create. So get out of this energy, get out, move on from the situation. And once you do that, it goes up from there. Anyway, I'm going to end this reading here. I wish you love. I wish you light. I wish you more love. Peace.